hello everyone this is a demo video for the new tool that i have created for the blender which is a liner it creates a beautiful sci-fi lines uh, for any shape or a text based on the curves and it is uh, completely procedural so it is designed uh, to bring some functionality of after effect directly into the blender in this video i'll uh, briefly explain the settings of this tool and if you download this tool you will get a complete documentation for each of the settings of this tool so let's start so let me first hide some of the effects uh, let's also hide uh, the grid core tentacles and the particles so now we have this core and the first uh, setting is the general settings and here uh, you will define uh, the settings means how you want to sample the input curve or the different splines uh, from the input curve means you can uh, select a different spline uh, from this curve if it has uh, multiple splines uh, then you can uh, define the length step and here you will also define the uh, this duration time duration means if you want this animation in a loop like this in this is for uh, 120 frames it will loop in this duration of time uh, you will uh, define the start and frame uh, for that and you can also offset on the start uh, or uh, if you have multiple spline you can uh, randomize uh, this start offset and then we have this two settings uh, or two animation setting like uh, cyclic loop setting and trim animate and right now it is set to a uh, cyclic loop so this is basically basically loop in this duration of time uh, when it is set to cycles and it complete one cycle it means if set to two then it will complete two cycle in this duration time and then you can like change this trim start or trim end and if it's set to zero cycle then it will be stationary and you can manually animate this trim start and trim end and you can also control with this a uh, speed but that will be not in a loop okay it will uh, not loop in this time and here you should also uh, define the length step for non-cycling means this curve is a cyclic so for this animation we have to make this non-cyclic so you have to define the length step this should be less than as compared to this uh, length step then you have trim animate means here you can independently uh, animate this trim start and trim end but if you want to animate together with one parameter you should uh, use this setting uh, here let me change this to this trim animate and here you uh, with this animate factor you can animate uh, these trim start and trim end together uh, like this and it has two options like factor base or length base I suppose if uh, the curve have multiple splines of different length uh, then the factor will animate all the cores for different splines they will start on the same frame and end on the same frame however if you set it to length based uh, animation the spline that has short length it will complete it is animation first as compared to the spline that have higher length or bigger in size let me show you this uh, go to edit mode shift d scale this down something like this now they both start or end on the same frame if it's set to length see the short spline core complete it is animation before to the bigger uh, spline core okay and you can also change the direction another thing i would like to mention here is that this is flow in this direction it's based on this spline direction and if you want to change that direction you can also change that in the edit mode and then uh, we have these core settings we have two cores a uh, curve core or grid core so this is a uh, curve core and here you can uh, disable this or uh, enable this and this is the radius resolution and this radius follow okay and you can adjust on this radius fall off in the in this node setup these uh, yellowish frames are the follow for different settings and if you select one of them like this 
and press uh, period key on the numpad it will focus on this uh, frame and here you can adjust uh, that follow up you can also change the color of this core then we have this grid it is a uh, grid base like we have this grid and here you can control the radius like fall off and then you can also change the gradient uh, for this okay and then you have option single side right now it is single side if it's set to zero it has both sides and you can also make it symmetric uh, with this option when it is uh, both side then you have this option is angle base means you can make this 90 to make this grid inside and if you type 0 it will be in the upward direction or you can also type 180 in the downward direction you can use a different angle for this as well and suppose if you want to flip on this far on uh, this smaller on uh, this spline just go to the edit mode and uh, 180 and this core will be this grid core will be inside for this uh, spline then we have this displace noise and it will displace the both of the core let me hide the grid core and let's also go to this wireframe see this noise is moving from this head of this core to the tail of this core and if you type here suppose an active to then a tail to the head and now right now this noise is uh, moving but if it's set to a uh, still let me down this uh, scale then it will uh, move through this spline will move through a uh, static noise and then uh, we have the tentacle settings so basically we can add uh, tentacles on these cores if you enable this it will add the tentacles disable this grid core like this and here you can define the amount you can uh, change this trim factor means maximum length is uh, like same as the core and here you can trim that and you can also so randomize on the trim factor and then you can change the radius and then randomize uh, addition of this radius part tentacles you can also control the fall off for this uh, from the node setup and then you have this resolution smooth and color then uh, we have uh, this effect section means in these tentacles uh, you can apply these four effects noise varonai spiral and then this tilt offset and then here you can also control this with the speed or number of cycles if you want this in a loop and uh, you can also define here static or dynamic uh, for the noise uh, effects and change this offset means if it's zero all the splines have same uh, noise pattern and if you uh, change this offset uh, you can randomize that and then this is the scale and then uh, you have this 2d options if i enable this effect 2d uh, this will be in a uh, plane here you can uh, do amazing things uh, like you can push this inside or outside the core uh, you can also define the angle like this and you can push this upward or downward these settings are relative to this angle okay so in some cases it can be negative or positive depending on the normal of the input uh, curve and then clamp is allow you to clamp on uh, these uh, tentacles from inside or outside uh, from the this input curve the input spline so only outside and here you can bring it down or push it further or you can also change the angle uh, here let's find zero 
they all are hanging downward another thing is i forgot is if you uh, press a backspace here then press enter it will going to uh, set this value to a default value so or you can also set this from this right click menu reset to default value and then you have the settings uh, for each effect for the noise uh, Voronoi spiral and the tilt and offset tilt and offset is a 2d effect so uh, this uh, setting will not going to affect uh, affect uh, this effect uh, then you have particles you can also uh, scatter particles on these uh, tentacles like this you can control the amount and you can also control the offset means if it is zero it will be on the tentacles and if you increase this it will uh, going to randomly push away from this uh, from the tentacles uh, you can uh, use a uh, ecosphere or a cube and then you can independently control the length of uh, these uh, particles okay uh, these are the light settings this is really important if you using AV render engine is it allow you to illuminate uh, the background based on on this uh, on this course means it looks like this core is illuminating the background uh, with the light let me enable this section and also enable the extras so these are the lights okay so here uh, you can define the number of lights and then uh, you can also offset this from the core uh, means this allow you to uh, fake this effect like means head of this core is more luminous and illuminating on this background more as compared to the tail so here uh, you can push these lights closer uh, to the background and you can change the direction of this offset and the alignment of the light especially if you are using the area light right now we are using the area light uh, that will be important like for the area light or lamp and uh, the sun for point light it is symmetric so we don't need to bother about the light direction and you can use uh, many lights like you can use both uh, point as well as area light and then last is the empty for direction means these are normals uh, the curve normal may not be accurate uh, for these uh, light directions so i have added this empty so you can use empty direction to properly offset or align these lights okay you can use that from here and if I enable uh, the grid core so these are the uh, basically attributes uh, for this liner so you can use these attribute to further control the color and material for this and in the grid core material uh, let me show you this uh, so I have uh, using these two noises and these are the settings uh, for this so it is based on the uv map let me hide on uh, the tentacles and also the particles so that you can uh, not the light particles let me time here 1.5 here see it is moving so here you can control the speed then the flow direction means you want perpendicular motion uh, from this uh, for this uh, for the noise or along the length of the core and here you can basically control the scale and you can also define the motion based on the uh, object coordinates basically with this um, setup uh, the flow will uh, move along uh, the core means if it's set to zero means flow speed zero the pattern will stay stationary and move along the core however if you use this 
then it's like uh, this core is moving through uh, environment see so you can create a different effect uh, with this uh, setup this tool is available on the blender market gumroad and my patron page and if you already are my patron you will get the free copy of this tool and from my patron page you will also get uh, the project files uh, for this tool if you like this work then please do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates until next time happy nodding bye